Thousands of children Australia-wide as part of the High Five Gang, Kelly Hoggett this year picked up the Logie for Most Outstanding Children's Program, the second consecutive year the group has won the award. Yeah! <laughs> She's our most recent Logie winner and is used to entertaining young, entertaining young children in the morning. And tonight, I think plenty of kids around Australia are staying up a little bit later, in fact, very, very late. late. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, to see you have a go, we let you go through the faster finger first. And I think you've done what Red Simons did. You thought, no, I don't worry about the preliminaries, I'm here for the main game. Watch and observe. What did you think of Effie? She was fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely great. Now, Kelly, who are you playing for tonight? I'm playing for the Variety Club. Yep. And because they um, basically buy equipment and they give services towards all kids around Australia. So all it's not just kids. one specific group. Uh, their motto, I think, is uh, you never stand so tall as when you bend down to help a child. It's a fantastic uh, Variety Club. They're a fantastic charity. And you're also playing for Max Tarvo from Gundawindi in Queensland. Cool. Kelly has 15 questions to win as much possible money as she can tonight. Let's see how high High Five can go tonight. Let's play, Kelly. Okay. All right. <laughs> for $100, what do we call a native of Spain? A. Spanisher. B. Spaniard. C. Spaniel. Or D. Spanner? B. Spaniard. B. Spaniard. Lock it in. It's in for $100. $200. What shape is a boxing ring? A. Oval. B. Round. C. Square. D. Triangular. Mm. Uh, C. Square. C. The old square ring. It's locked in. And it's right for $200. <laughs> $300. A condition of happiness based on false beliefs is called a who's paradise. A clowns. B idiots. C fools. D jokers. C fools. Fools paradise, lock it in. It's right for $300. $400. The battle of the little bighorn is also known as who's last stand. A. Custers, B. Geronimo's, C. Grants, D. Sitting Bulls, for $500. Hmm. The Battle of the Little Big Horn is also known as Who's Last Stand? Well, I would say Custers, but I don't know. Should we ask the audience? You can Check? ask the audience if you like, or you can go for Custers oh, yourself. Oh, let's just go for Custers. You're going to go for Custers? Yeah, no, why not? Sure. <laughs> um... Yeah. Custer's last stand. Yeah. Lock it in. It's in. And it's right for $500. <laughs> for $1,000, the safe level. Here we go, Kelly. What surname has the travelling family in TV's Lost in Space? A. Robbins. B. Roberts. C. Robertson. D. Robinson. Hmm, There's all the Roberts, you see. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'd go Robinson, D. D? Lock it in? Yep. Locked in. D's right for $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Kelly. That's a tough one, Robertson, Robinson. I know. <laughs> $2,000, you've got three lifelines in hand playing beautifully. Let's go for the $2,000 question. Dying in 1976 was the Australian singer of light opera known affectionately as Our Who? A. Thel. B. Glad. C. Shirl. D. Val. Our Thel, Our Glad, Our Shirl, or Our Val? I've no idea about this. Should we ask well, the, the audience? The audience? <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the audience then and see if we can help out Kelly, A, B, C or D. To this question, dying in 1976 was the Australian singer of light opera known affectionately as Our Who. Was it A, Thel, B, Glad, C, Shirl or D, Val? Vote now.
All right, it's pretty evenly spread there. 8% for Thel, B for Glad, and C for Sure. 30% and 32 for Val. You've got two more lifelines there. You can phone a friend or take a 50-50. What do you think? If you had to have a guess now, what would you guess? But what I guess? It's yeah. hard because I've never... Yeah. I was only two. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Australian singer. Well, light opera. Mm, and they say B, C, or D is the main. So, ooh. Oh, it's a music question. <laughs> <laughs> Not um, quite high five, though. No. Do you want to phone a friend? Um, or take a 50 50? Mm. Or have a guess. But I can't guess, because I just get a thousand dollars. And that's just not enough. All right. <laughs> um, so. We should just do 50 50. 50 50. Let's get rid of two wrong answers, leaving Kelly with a 50 50 chance of getting it right. Okay, get rid of two wrong answers. Thel or Glad? I go with B. Glad? And because no one had to chose A for the last one. So we're going with B? That's the only thing I know. I don't know. I have no idea. Lock it in? Yeah. Lock in Glad. Glad's right for $2,000. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that helps me but, uh, so much. <laughs> our Glad was Gladys Moncrief. Right, okay. $4,000. Mm -hmm. Blanc lies on the border of Italy and which other country? A. Germany. B. Austria. C. Croatia. D. France. I really should know this. Mm. So maybe we should. I vote, yeah, maybe I was going to pick France, but. Um, well, what do you think? I think France, but I. I don't know. Mm. Well, do you want to stick with France or? Will one of your friends know? One of my friends would definitely know, but I don't know if I want to risk it and know if I can get if it's friends. <laughs> mm. And the name sounds so French. <laughs> what do you think then? Okay, I'll take. Oh, that'd kill me if I don't. My dad will kill me. <laughs> I'll ring a friend. Phone a friend? Yep. Okay, let's get a friend on the line. Who are we going to call? Scott Travis. Let's get Scott on the line. Scott Travis. What does Scott do? He's our sound guy on tour. The sound guy. He's a super genius. Is he? All right. <laughs> well, let's hope so. Hope so, rather. Yeah. Scott Travis. <laughs> Hello. G'day, Scott. It's Eddie Maguire here from Who Wants <laughs> to Be a Millionaire? Hello, Eddie. How are you? I'm um, good, thanks, Scott. You've been told on national television that you're a genius, okay? So <laughs> oh, no. Kelly is here. She's won $2,000, wants to make it $4,000. She needs your help. She's going to give you a question and four answers. You have 30 seconds, Kelly. Good luck. Go. Um, Mount Blanc lies on the border of Italy and which other country? Germany, Austria, Croatia or France? Can you, can you say that again? Mount Blanc lies on the border Blanc of lies on the border Italy. Of and which other country? And which other country? Germany, Austria, Croatia, and France. You've got 11 seconds. Croatia and France. Be quick. I really have no idea. Just guess quickly. Um, quick, quick, quick. I would go with France. Okay. D. Thank you. <laughs> That's Gee. what you wanted to hear, wasn't it? I was like, quick. <laughs> you had to work hard there. Mm. And he said the same as me, so. France, mm -hmm. lock it in. It's locked in. France is right for $4,000. Have yeah. a glass of water. Mm. Playing for eight thousand dollars, you're on your own now, and risking three thousand dollars. Here we go. In the comic strip, the Archies. Who is Archie Andrews' best buddy? A. Reggie. B. Betty. C. Veronica. Or D. Jughead. Uh, D. Jughead. Lock in Jughead. Yep. Lock in Jughead. Jughead's right for eight thousand dollars. <laughs> 
How are you doing beautifully now? <laughs> Halfway there, we're going to take a break and come back with Kelly right after this to see if High Five can go all the way up to $1 million on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Kelly Hoggett is in the hot seat. She's won $8,000 so far, playing for the Variety Club and also for Max Tarbo from Gundawindi. You there, Max? Yep. You a High Five fan, mate? Yep. <laughs> Sounds it. Are you excited, Max? Yeah, um, I am, all right. Yep. Um, how much money would you like, Max? Uh, about 8000 Well, the next question could see you get $8,000 shared, of course, with the Variety Club. You've got 4000 in your pocket. Let's have a go at the $16,000 question, eh? Let's go, Kelly. Which British comedian was not a member of the Goons? A, Tony Hancock. B, Spike Milligan. C, Harry Seacombe. D, Peter Sellers. Tony Hancock, A. Eh? Lock it in? Mm -hmm. Locked in. Tony Hancock is correct for $16,000. <laughs> Michael Bentine was the fourth member, and of course Harry Seacombe passed yes. away a fortnight ago. $32,000 guaranteed. You're on your own. Let's go, Kel. Hi. Which magazine co-founded by Richard Neville was at the centre of a celebrated 1971 obscenity case? A. Oz. B. Clear. C. Man. D. Quadrant. Wow. Any idea? It's before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, Cleo's, I suppose, a modern magazine, so that's out. And. I've never heard of the other magazines, so... The centre of... Mm. I would maybe... Is this the centre of this company? You can take the 16,000. I can take 16000 Right now, if you want to. And that'll make Max happy because he wanted yes, 8 grand. Yes, I know, grand. that's what he wanted. So and You've done everything you've wanted. <laughs> 8000 for the Variety Club. Or are you going to have a guess and risk losing $15,000? Yeah, and I'll get yelled at by Max. Yeah, you will. Because he's not very happy. No, he's a pretty <laughs> grumpy sort of fella, isn't he? No, not quite. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll take the sixteen because I know that's what they want. I'm going to sign it. You have another look. Which, which, if you were guessing, which way would you go? Where's that the centre? If you're going to have a guess, which one? I would say... The Quadrant D. Do you want the 16000 yes, I do. <laughs> Kelly, you've won $16,000. Well Kelly, the trick on this show is to know when to quit when you're ahead. Now, you wanted to lock in Quadrant? Yeah. Quadrant. If you had have locked in Quadrant, Max would have been after you. Oh, great. Because you would have lost $15,000. It Thank was you. A Oz, Excellent. which means, Kelly, You've killed them again. You won the Logie last week for the second year in a row. High Five, of course, one of the great shows on Australian television. And you've won $16,000. Let's hear it for Kelly Hoggett. Well done. Stay with us, Kelly. Wow. Great job. Well done, Kelly. Fantastic show, High Five. Well, that brings us to the end of our Logies Winners Challenge. Over the last two weeks, we've given away a grand total of $370,000. So we'd like to say a big thank you to all our six celebrities who are brave enough to give it a go. And in particular, I'm sure the six charities are extremely grateful for their magnificent efforts. Next week, we return to normal episodes of the show. So if you think you can do as well as our Logie winners have done over the past two weeks, then the number to ring is right on the screen. Do so. And remember, it's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. See you next Monday night for another edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Good night! Ali McBeal is next on win. That's followed by the practice. And tomorrow night from 8.30, don't miss the drama of All Saints, Water Rats, then the West Wing.